everybody. It's Carrie, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian from the Rapid City Public Library, back with another Teen Crafter Noon. And this week, we are gonna be putting together a cherry blossom cork board. So, we'll take a look at what you got in your bags, and then I'll walk you through how to put it together. So what do we have in our bags this week? Set of directions. We have a piece of cork board, and you can kind of pick if you wanna use just the regular colored side, or we have a metallic gold painted side. We have tissue paper and just about every kind of pink, including a metallic rose gold that we could find. Glue dots. These are the pearl headed pins that you're gonna be transforming into cherry blossoms. We have some green tape, which will help keep those blossoms in place on your pins. And we have a little bit of ribbon to help kind of decorate the board. As usual, I have a pair of scissors because we're going to be using those to create our pin board. First things first, we're going to be using this ribbon to just kind of add some, some decorative flair to our pin board. If you've ever seen um, things where you've got the corners wrapped, kind of like this, and then you can tuck things into them so it doesn't have everything on here doesn't have to be pinned and there are a bunch of different ways to do that and I think for mine I'm going to go with diagonals so I am going to cut some pieces of ribbon and when you cut this ribbon if you cut it on a diagonal um, it will the ends won't fray as much so I know I want one there I know I want one there. I think I'm gonna do two on this side. And this is where those glue dots are gonna come in handy. Because that's how we're gonna secure our ribbons. Start with this one down here, and I'm going to get it the place that I want it flip it over and put a glue dot here and a glue dot here. That'll hold it in place. And now that I've got those on there the way that I want them, we can move on to the three different ways of making the blossoms. So I'm gonna pull out one pin because I know I'm gonna need one of those, have it kind of at the ready. Put that up there for now. And you can pick if you wanna do blossoms that are all the same color. Um, I like to layer mine sometimes because I think it just gives a, a little more visual interest when you've got them pinned up. Um, and the way that we're gonna shape them is gonna let a lot of the different colors go through. So blossom number one, we're gonna take five squares of tissue paper and we're gonna accordion fold them. So I'm gonna do, light pinks. I'm going to do a white in the middle. I think I will take one of these darker ones. And then one more pink. And pull these down just for a second while we work on this first one. So these are my five sheets. An accordion fold just means we're going to be folding in lines. So I'm gonna fold back and forth and back and forth, kind of like a Z shape, back and forth, till you get it kind of looking like an accordion. And then this is the tricky part for this one. We wanna put that pin through the middle of the accordion folds, but it's not gonna wanna go through all of that tissue paper at once. So I kind of take it two folds at a time. And usually it'll go okay through through that many sheets. Two more folds and finally the last bit of folds and then I'm just gonna make sure that I, I cinch it all up at the top by that pearl head. And then what we're gonna do is when you kind of got it like this we're gonna pull apart those layers. So I just kind of put my thumb and forefinger together and do one of these motions and it separates them. 
and you can start to pull them apart. And this is where you'll start to kind of see those layers come apart. I'm gonna kind of push the out corners up to the top as I do it. Same thing with the other side. Slide my thumb and forefinger together, which is gonna separate the tissue paper. And kind of work them up. Make sure you get all the way down to the bottoms of those accordion folds to get that separation. Now we're kind of going to be going back and forth on these directions. So we did blossom one and then blossom one needs to get that green wrap. So on your card, you should be able to pull off one of those green strips of tape. And basically what we're going to do is tape around the bottom part of that cherry blossom and we're gonna angle it down and wrap it so it's gonna wrap the blossom and it's gonna wrap the pin. And you may not use all of that tape, but you'll use most of it. And you can always wrap it back up too to kind of get a nicer, cleaner, kind of triangular shape. So this is cherry blossom style number one. I'm gonna pin it onto my board there. Blossom number two. Again, we're gonna take five stacks of that paper. So again, I'm gonna layer mine and you can choose to do that or not do that. One of the cool things about this rose gold metallic is you can flip it and you get two totally different kinds of colors there. And I think I'll do two of really light pink on the outside. And this one, we're going to fold in half. We're going to fold in half again. And then I'm going to cut kind of a petal shape round So you've got the corner down here and then my petal shape. Get rid of that. And then when you open it, I'm gonna restack them so the petals go all the way around. And then same thing with this pin. Again, we're gonna go right through the middle. It should go through five pieces, pretty simple, coming out the other side. And with this one, you're gonna kind of pinch it all up. And again, we're gonna have kind of a wrapping motion. And then, Use that finger and thumb against each other to kind of separate those layers. So it looks a little neater than the first one. And again, we're gonna pull that green tape Do a nice, slowly going downward wrap. And again, you can take it right back up to the top. So cherry blossom number two. And last but not least, cherry blossom number three. I'm gonna start with dark on the outside and I'm gonna go lighter and lighter until I get to the very inside. And this one, we're gonna draw kind of a five petal shape. So we've got a petal shape. 
It doesn't have to be perfect. Flowers usually aren't. They can be geometric, but they're not gonna be perfect. And you wanna get your paper so it's, your petals are gonna hit most of those layers. And then we're gonna cut those petals, that petal shape out. thing I do know is I tend to draw my petals with kind of sharp outer corners and for the cherry blossoms I'm going to want them more rounded so I'm going to go back in and round those out a little bit. Again we're going to take our pin and we're going to poke it through the center kind of going to pinch those layers and again we're going to fold them around a little bit use that thumb and forefinger to separate and that might be my favorite one of the bunch or maybe I just like the paper choices I made <laughs> we'll take that last second to last. Wrap around, wrap down, wrap down, and then kind of pinching as you're wrapping, I guess. And then we'll go back up again to get that nice triangular shape. My leaves are coming off there. And then you've got one more to either do your own thing with or do a second one of whichever one of these makes you the happiest. And then you can pin pictures, movie tickets, anything you want to keep and remember. And there you go, Cherry Blossom Corkboard. Now next week we are not going to have a teen crafter noon, but the following week we will. And it is going to be an Avatar The Last Airbender themed craft. So you can pick, if you were a bender, what element would you be bending and we'll create pins based on those elemental symbols. Don't forget, if you want to know when those dates are coming up for the crafter noons, or if you're looking for something to read, you can always check out what's happening for teens at the Rapid City Public Library on our Instagram page, which is at RCPL Teens. Thanks for following along. Hope to see you soon.